So y'all can thank him for that. He hung up the laugh. But yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if I let what I've gone through in life or what I've encountered stop me from doing these lives and stop me from doing what was put on my heart, then I would honestly, I would still be miserable to be, to be completely honest. Me doing these videos actually helps me get through what I'm going through and kind of makes me feel like I have support from the people who watch because I've always wanted to be like, I'm gonna say a spiritual nurturer, not so much a therapist. Cause yeah, I, <laughs> therapy. I just I don't think I'm cut out for it. Even though when you're when you are a mom, you're gonna be like a therapist. But it's something that I've always wanted to do. And if I used who I thought I was and who I allowed some people to tell me who I was. I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you, Juwan. But yeah, um, that's really all I had to say. Just pay attention to the signs that are given to you, even if it's not what you want. So like, even if you want a new job and they gave you, <clears throat> after you applied, like make, got that application and they told you, I don't know, we're not, we're not accepting you at the moment. Um, just know, hey, maybe I'm not supposed to leave my current place because the work that I'm supposed to do here isn't done. Boy! Sorry. <laughs> the work that I'm supposed to do here isn't done. And that's real. Like, that's so real. Like, if you want to leave a relationship and that person isn't treating you how you want to be treated, like, okay, God, just give me a sign on whether I'm supposed to stay, but yet the behavior hasn't changed. The feeling that you get being with them that you feel like, eh, that relationship is dead. That hasn't changed. Then maybe that's not where you're supposed to be at. And we always, my thing is, if you have to ask God for a sign of what you're supposed to do nine times out of ten, you already know what you're supposed to do. Like, let's let's be honest. It's the reason why we ask for a sign is because we're hoping and we're praying that we're wrong. But you know, boy. But you know your into, but you know your intuition. My bad. And not only women have intuition, but you know your intuition. You know in your gut. You know ultimately what's supposed to happen. And if you don't listen to it, I truthfully believe that God talks to you in a voice that you will be comfortable with. So it's gonna be how you hear yourself in your head. That sound crazy. But seriously, because if he talked to us in his voice, we'd be like, oh, my gosh, I'm crazy. And then, like, y'all gonna make me get into the movie Bird Box, but we're not even going to get into that. <laughs> but ultimately, like, listen, listen to yourself because you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And even if you feel like you don't know. Don't just ask for a sign. Actively pray. You may, even if you're not the biggest religious person, I believe some, everybody has some form of spirituality within them. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Because, and then also meditate. Like, I don't know where people get this thing that, like, when you meditate, meditation is not, for religious people, like, they try to say meditation is Buddhist. I don't, I mean, yeah, the Buddhists meditate too, but, like, everybody can meditate. Anyway, that's a problem that I have when I'm speaking. I just drift off. But pray and meditate because nine times out of ten, even if you don't get that sign, you will get that conversation that you need to have. Listen to your mind or your heart. Just throwing it out. Thank you, cousin. I'll talk all day. So throw whatever you want to throw out. And also share this. Because I only have two people watching. Now I have like six before. Because somebody hung up the live. But anyway. Um, listening to your mind or your heart. So, the simple fact that people think it's two different things. Really, 
it's one concise thing. What happens is with your heart is what you feel, and I truthfully feel like that's kind of what you should go with is your heart because your mind sometimes overthinks it. And this is what I mean. So let's say you want to open up, you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to open up your own business. You want to like, you want to do your own thing. Your heart is telling you to go for it and do it because that's what you love. That's what you're passionate about. But your mind is like, well, how are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? You sure you want to do that? Because I don't I'm like, mm, like you just starting out. You're not that good. You don't have a deep following. You might just want to back up. You're going to overthink yourself. So I truthfully, for me, I always say go with your heart because your heart and your gut to me is like this. And then your mind, because it's going to go a million times a minute. And cousin, you are a Capricorn, so I know you overthink every single last thing. Should I go to sleep at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock? Should I eat this or should I eat that? Should I drink coffee today or not? Like, I don't know. We overthink everything. And some people don't believe in a Zodiac like that. Me, I do. You're going to overthink. So go with your heart. And don't go with the first thought. (laughs) because <laughs> we and that's another thing we do we will go with our <laughs> this is why my wedding day has changed so many times <laughs> we, we get one good idea and we want to just jump into it in my heart i know i shouldn't be setting that date that's not the right date it's not what i should be doing so far but we still do it here pumpkin you couldn't have it because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay, come on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I I don't want to sound like a cliche. Just pray on it. But yeah, take what's in your heart and pray for what's on your heart. Because I believe in people doing what makes them happy. Like, do what makes you happy. Don't do... Of course you have to be sensible but don't do somebody else's sensible and that kind of goes to like what i was talking about last week letting somebody else's opinion somebody else's feeling somebody else's input determine what you're going to do for yourself i personally say go with your heart go with your heart and a rational mind Thank you for that. They gave me a little, gave me a reason to talk a little bit longer. You just came up here because you wanted these tweezers. And that's quick. But yeah. So somehow, some way, I'm gonna figure out how to put those two lives together because I'm never, I'm never going live again with him downstairs. I'm gonna just continue to go upstairs in my office. And all that. Thank you, cousin. How do I do my meditation? Truthfully, when I meditate, first of all, I'm still learning my meditation. I truthfully feel like you'll never completely have it down. But how I start mine is first, I start mine with prayer. I pray first. Um, Make it a YouTube or a channel podcast because I have a plan. I've been getting sidetracked with this. Um, yeah, I got you. I, am, I actually do have a YouTube because I'm actually about to start. Um, I'm going to have to merge these two together. But I know how to download my Facebook lives on there. Just, I'm going to be honest, I've been lazy. But anyway, back to meditation. Um, I start mine with prayer. Um, truthfully, you can't meditation is a feeling it's not more so like a plan you can have like an outline like I know plan and outline is the same thing but like a plan we're more strict on because we plan this out so it has to go this way um like I said I started my heart with prayer and then like whatever my heart is feeling because I know people say this is my season but this, like this year is literally my season like so much has shifted from 2016 in my life yes you pray for a clear mind before meditation and it ever since 2016 my life has been shifting in a whole like different direction that I was in even though like I'm only 23 trust me 
I'm going through a lot. I know I got to stop being lazy. I'm a procrastinator. It's not even really laziness. I just, like, I'm going to do it next week. But, um, and I lost my train of thought. So I've had a lot of stuff that I've needed to meditate on. And my thing now is do I need to stay here in Detroit, in Michigan? I've been praying on that one hard for the past. Ever since I found out I was starting to cry. Because this environment isn't it. Like, it's not. And I'm like, okay, well, I can go to, like, you know, the suburbs. But I don't feel it here. I don't feel moved to stay here. There's so much I want to do here, but I don't feel like I need to stay here in order to do it. I'm sorry if y'all couldn't hear me. But um, take whatever is, like, goes back to the heart. Whatever is on your heart, thank you. Whatever is on your heart, out of the D L O come to play. Cousin, it's between North Carolina, my hometown, and um, North Carolina. <laughs> but I'll definitely keep Florida on the list. But yeah, it, it take whatever is on your heart because nine times out of ten, the reason why you feel the need to meditate is for something. And then honestly, once you meditate through something and you get through it, still practice your meditation, but you'll find out it's much easier because you'll find yourself in a meditation of thanks. You'll find yourself in a meditation of, I just want to keep my peace. I just want to maintain my peace. I want to keep what I have now. You'll notice that it, you'll notice that as you keep doing it, just like praying, when you first start out praying, you're like, um, God, thank you for this um i don't know what it is else i'm supposed to say like you know it, it got you thank you Kyle. you just keep giving me all these pins thank you <laughs> Give me the pins. but yeah so um yeah truthfully you going and honestly jocelyn you going <laughs> you might need to like I, I can't even say go to the bathroom and try to meditate, but like if you in the bath, <laughs> don't please don't fall asleep in the bathtub. But like you might have to just sit there and just whoosa while you're there. Like you're gonna have to find some personal time from being a mommy to meditate because it's not gonna be possible <laughs> with children around. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I meditate after Kai go to sleep. I purposely stay up a little bit longer. I fell asleep on Tay last night while we was, we was on the phone and like Kai went to sleep. I said my prayers and I meditated and I meditated myself to sleep. <laughs> but hey, it happens sometimes. That's why I said don't fall asleep in the bathtub. But yeah, you're, you need to find that dedicated time to do that. Because it's, it, it's, it's a whole process. It's, it's an entire, an entire, okay, you can't have those, but those are like super dangerous. It's an, it's an entire process that you have to get yourself through. It's not, and then like, if you're trying to meditate and get something out of it, you can't rush it. And I'm trying to, meditation sometimes, you get boring. And people be like, and also if your mind wanders, let it wander. Because you'll you'll get some epiphanies that you ever never knew that you needed i would like i was meditating and y'all might have seen my post and i was like wow i figured out that the sabbath was on saturday because <laughs> i was like i was just sitting there meditating 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 and i was like saturday he rested oh my gosh <laughs> y'all don't pay attention i'm slow but like you just you get some wild epiphanies just sitting in there and just letting your mind wander. You don't, you can take that thought and it'll just manifest into something else. But Josh, I'm gonna actually look up some meditation books for you, just in case you're a reader, because I'm a reader when it comes to some stuff. Like when I had to learn about the chakras, I'm like, oh yeah, I know this, this, and that, boy. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I know this, this, and that, but you know, I had to read a little bit of stuff to get a deeper comprehender. So I'm gonna look that up for you too, Josh. Hey, Scotty, if you're still here. I don't know if you're still here. Y'all got anything else for me? 
I can't seem to get can't seem to get lost in the Bible though. When I go to church, it's like just me and the pastor. I get lost in the Bible, but I don't get that feeling when I read it, and I don't know what it is. It because um, y'all gonna hear me say pray a whole bunch, but um, pray before you read the Bible for understanding. And what, before I even try to give you advice on it, what version of the Bible are you trying to read? Because I swear if you tell me the King James Version. Because King James, mm. I'll be your life coach. That's, that's actually what I want to do. I just call it a spiritual nurturer because I... See, jo- Jocelyn, that's why. You can't re- get you a new international version. I will buy you a new international version. King James will have you confused. For the- I'm going to buy you one. That's going to be your late Christmas gift. King James version will have you. Lord, forgive me for saying. It will have you ready to burn a Bible. Trying to figure out <laughs> what it's saying. Like, no. Don't read no King James version. Yes. NIV. Please. <laughs> King James, man. What? I don't even know why that was a language. The English, the English language is already made up of a billion different languages in and of itself that it makes no sense. But, yeah, get you an NIV. But, yeah, cousin, I will gladly... Gladly, gladly, gladly be your life coach. That's actually what I want to do. You see, my thing is, you don't need a certification to be a life coach. But I still want one. Like, I want to take some more psychology classes and things like that because, excuse me, I want all aspects of life, not just like, help me with my financial, help me with my relationship. No, I want to help you as a person. Cousin, I'm trying to take King James. I don't cuss no more, so I'm going to just leave it at. Mm. Let me not say I don't cuss. I'm, I'm trying not to cuss no more. <laughs> I have a slip up sometimes, but trying. <clears throat> but yeah. But once you get the new international version, um. I bought myself. Hey, and that's King James, the first one I bought. It was all pretty and everything. I opened that boy up. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I have a, like, I'm not trying to tube on horn or anything, but I have a pretty high IQ. I could not understand the King James version. I was, mm-mm. nah. Nah. I <laughs> was not messing with it at all. But yeah, um, once you get it and you get truthfully yes you pray for understanding before you read the bible that's what you're always 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 supposed to do so that you receive the word that you're supposed to get but once you actually open up the new international version you'll see it makes more sense like me i'm trying to read the um, bible from beginning to end because i take ministry classes because i like to i want to incorporate some religious aspect to my spiritual nurturing and um life coaching and whatnot but it's also, um, there are going to be some, part, some parts and points where you're just like, what? What? And I will tell you, the first five books of the Bible are the most important. But, like, when you read Genesis, you, when you read Genesis, you're going to see so many names. You're going to be like, do I need to remember all of them? Nah. You'll always have to revert back. But, yeah, once you start, um... Get your hand on my coat. <laughs> Once you start um, reading the Bible, and you actually have that prayer for understanding, it'll make more sense, but especially the version you read. Thank you for all the love, honey bunches. Y'all, I love my fiance. He is so supportive of everything I do. Absolutely love him. But anyway, and... Um, I kind of lost my thought. He over here distracting me. But yeah. 
Yeah, Joss, once you get that NIV, it, it'll make my whole lot more sense for you. I promise, I promise, I promise. But, um, so Joss, when you read your Bible, what are you trying to read it? Like, what are you reading it for? I'm sorry y'all saw that face. This boy trying to pour crackers in his cup. He gonna be a chef. Mark my words. I'm not even watching, mommy. I don't even know. <laughs> watching enough for me. So, like, Joss, when you read your Bible, are you reading for guidance or um, how you should live your life? Like, what are you? I know guidance and how you live your life are the same thing, but like, some certain stories build you up for. Like, if you're going through a health issue, then you're looking for guidance of faith. So you read where Jesus healed the sick and, you know, that type of stuff. But does anybody else have anything for me? While I wait for Joss to let me know what she's reading the Bible for. Mm -hmm. And don't think that this is strictly just for... Um, The lit I don't even like to put God in quotation marks, but don't just think it's about the Bible and ministries and stuff like that. It's like for anything. Like if you guys want to ask me like anything, anything. And if it's something that's like a little bit too personal, message me in Messenger. I will gladly answer anything in Messenger. Honestly, I think that lately I used to read to look for signs or how to handle situations. Most. Mm. So the Old Testament gives you, spin another word, or just spin another word. Okay. My, I always give this disclaimer, my experience, from my experience, when I read the Bible, Old Testament is for, to help you build your faith. New Testament is within your faith. So, Cairo, stop it. Jeez, boy. I think, like, literally, I hear, I say, Cairo, stop it at least, like, a million times a day. But, um, Old Testament is for the basis, basis of faith. New Testament is to help expound upon faith and give you the stories to help you remain in faith. So, if you're looking for signs on how to have a deeper relationship with God, Read both. You need both Old Testament and New Testament scriptures. You know what, Jocelyn? I'm going to just take you under my, my wing. I guess you and my cousin will be my first two clients, my spiritual family. Because, yeah. Um, because it's, it's, deep, it's deeper than just me giving this video for you to understand. It's, it's, it's truly something that you have to constantly experience. But... Um, Yes, if you're looking for how to build a relationship, you need both Old and New Testament. If you're looking for things that need to, like, you're really going through something and you just need a story or something, to, like a physical scene of a, one of God's and Jesus' miracles, New Test, really Old and New Testament, but more so New Testament because, of course, New Testament, it seems more, it's more closer to home. Um... And then you can actually see the work of Jesus within it. Um, Old Testament, of course, you know, it's God performing these things. And then you have Jesus performing these miracles on behalf of God. But, yeah. Um, but if it's like signs on what you should do for you within your path, because we also have to remember within those stories, that was that person walking that path that God wanted them to walk. Meaning, because God has such and such forgive such and such and then work with such and such, don't mean that that's what you're supposed to do. So that's where the prayer and the meditation come into play because you need to figure out what it is in your personal life that is for you. And that kind of um, 
goes back into what the first message was really talking about that I did on live was that it's important for you to pay attention to the sign even when the sign isn't there. And that's the hardest part for people to realize is that when something is not there, that is also a sign. When something isn't presented, that is also a sign. Like how they say, like how they always say, no sign is a sign. Cookie, shut up! Yeah, y'all gonna get that on this live a lot. She barked unnecessarily. But yeah. But yeah, Johnson, I'm definitely going to um, don't laugh at that, Johnson. <laughs> Dog is annoying. But yeah, um, yeah, you and my cousin hit me up in tea time. He, boy. I'm off of this on you, Kyra. Making a big old mess. Any other things anybody needed to know? Like, please, to see you more on. Well, I'm going to see you more on here. I need it. Oh, I'm definitely going to. I'm definitely going to do it. And um, even the, I'll always post ahead of time what my. Um, what my live schedules are gonna be. Yeah. Like, I'm in class. <laughs> class is in session, you guys. I'm hoping that one day I'm gonna profess this over my life right now that I will be a life coach and that I'll be able to do these classes that everybody hates your knee. That I do these classes that, you know, every. Kai, stop trying to. <laughs> Go ahead and ask grandma. No? You wanna be up here? Okay. <laughs> Big old mommy's boy. There you go. May I remember to sell out these seminars and have everybody taking notes. That's what I want to do. Truthfully, that's that's really what I want to do. I want to be a motivational speaker, life coach, all that. Yes, declare and decree. I will do it. I will have it. Watch me five years. I will be on Ellen. I might be the next Ellen. You never know. I love Ellen. But can I can I talk about Ellen to y'all real quick? Thank you, cousin. I love her. I absolutely love her because she's such a sweet person and she helps everybody. I love Ellen. Like, it would make my life if I got on Ellen. Like, my life. <laughs> but yet, yeah, Cairo. I have no idea why I wanted a boy, y'all. I have no idea. <sighs> Let me see this. Let me see this cup. All right, ladies, here we go. We got the top eight I'm going to try to spill everything. We women the but yes. I like you when my man's Anything else, you guys? I don't always believe that. Speak stuff into existence. People are always so like, okay, let me just go into that real quick. Like, when you enter a relationship or you enter into anything, don't be like, this person gonna be like the next person. Something told me to say that to y'all, so I'm gonna just say it. I'm trying to do them every, um, every Thursday, y'all. Something told me to tell y'all that. Like, stop professing the negative before the positive. And stop thinking the negative before the positive because thoughts manifest into actions. If you think it's gonna fail, and you then you start to act like it's gonna fail. And here go during <laughs> You know what, cousin? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but yeah. Stop thinking something's gonna go wrong because then you start acting like something's gonna wrong gonna go wrong and then it's gonna go wrong and then you're like, see I knew it. No, see you did it. You're the one who did it. It was going to work, and then you just put your all negative juju and negative man on it. Now it don't work. Okay, so my numbers jumped down. My cousin better not have left. Because he's petty. My whole family petty, y'all. Thank you, honey bunny. Honey, buddy, baby. 
Okay. You had me scared for a second, cousin. I like how all my family tuned into my live. Even if they had nothing to say. Even if they only stayed for like two seconds and they're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to hear this. They came. I love y'all for that. I really do. They just don't know how petty we are. <laughs> cousin. <laughs> Oh, I told my uh, fiance, he has something to say, <laughs> but um, I told my fiance that all the time. Every time you come under one of my posts, I just see your name. I'm like, oh, Lord, what did, what did he say? What, what did he say? Boy. <laughs> I'm like, I know he said something. I, I know he said something. Yeah. You got something else to say? Why you got tweezers? About to do your eyebrows? You over it? Okay. He ain't had nothing else to y'all. He just had to say, boo, 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 and that was it. He loves bees. Like, the letter B, that's, that's his word. So, uh, that's another reason why I really stopped passing. He just, he's about to be at that age where it's just everything I say, mommy says. So, yeah. But yeah, you guys, that's really all I had to say within this session. So if there was anything else that anybody wanted addressed, um, or even if you want me to go live on it. Gonna run me a present, I'm going through something. Jocelyn, you know I know your struggle. Trust me, we, we ain't tripping. We know you love us. We ain't tripping at all. Girl, that's not, y'all want me to do a video on taxes? Let me tell y'all how ta 2000, well really it's 2018. 2018 tax is about to have my life so straight. Can we talk about that? How I'm about to use my tax? Yep, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> so I made a post about how y'all should use y'all taxes and whatnot. And I'm going to reshare it so y'all can keep sharing it. Because I need people to start using their taxes responsibly. And don't judge my baby because he still got a pet pack. <laughs> he love this thing. <laughs> we working on getting it taken away. But anyway, um, yes, good. Uh, a lot of people's problems are fine. It's either two problems. It's either a relationship or financial. And one always affects the other. Always. Always. I'm glad I do. Look, cousin. He went all morning without it. We doing, we doing increments. Cause one day, he's just not going to have it. He's not even going to realize he don't got it. Trust me, we, it's all it's a mind game with him. He a Scorpio, so I gotta play a mind game in order to get him to do what I want him to do. <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't be a grand babe. But, uh, look. <laughs> oh, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, set yourself up to have a prosperous life. Like, if you know you got debt, yeah, right, cousin, oh, Lord, of Scorpio. If you got debt, pay off your debt with your taxes, please. Please. Or there was an, um, it's kind of like what I said about um, prepaying your bills, but I was talking about doing with a um, secure card. Pay your bills up with your taxes. Like, it don't got to be all your taxes, but, like, your most expensive bill. Pay pay it up so you got time to stack again for it. Like, for me, it's going to be my car insurance. I'm about to pay my six, little six months of rest on my car insurance. And then just pay off bills, stack up, stack up, stack up. So when it comes time again for me to pay for my car insurance, I can do it again. Pay it off for, like, the whole six months and don't worry about it. Set yourself up to be stress-free. Like, I get it. People, people think that financial stress comes from not having no money. No, it's how you, financial stress comes from how you used your money, how you balanced your money. 
set yourself up to be stress-free. Don't cause no more stress for yourself. I understand that you think getting that money and going on a trip is going to make you less stressed. It's not. It's not. It's going to do it for maybe a day or however long your trip is. But once you come back and you got... <laughs> I hate to say it, but, like, you come back and you got that final notice on your door or you got the get evicted on your door, like, your stress is right back. Just, like, you know, live it up. If you're, like, if you're renting, pay up your rent. Pay it up a little bit so you be stress-free for a couple months. You ain't got to worry about rent. Worry about your little bills. But, yeah, do that. Like, don't, don't use it senselessly. <laughs> Mommy got to do your hair next. Uh-huh. And then he walk away on that one. Say, uh-uh. You're not touching my hair. Uh-huh. Mine's not so much financial. It is, but it's not. It's more of what you see me put on a while ago. Girl, don't get me started. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to put your business out there, Jocelyn. But, yeah, don't. That's what I told you. If it's one, it's the other. Because if it's something within your relationship and it spill, it spill over to work, now it's nothing with your financial. Trust and believe. You beat me with a mouse? Yeah. Ooh, you okay? You got it? All right. Yeah, don't even don't even trip about it. That's right. That's all you can do is pray over it. And like I told you, I'm taking you right on up. Right on up with me. Because my thing is if God gives you a blessing, he gives you a gift, you're supposed to gift and bless others with it. And there was no other person I'd rather help than Jocelyn, for real. Y'all, Jocelyn is such a beautiful person. Jocelyn is one of those friends that somebody mess with her, you want to fight them. Yeah. Like, it's one of those, you messing with her? Of all people, you met. It's some people who deserve to be messed with. Jocelyn is not one of them. Don't mess with Joss. Because then you got to deal with me. And ask fiance. Yeah, I'm, I'm somebody you don't want to mess with. <laughs> he had me ready to beat somebody up when he got, they hit his car. Because, like, Tay is one of the safest drivers that I know. Use your gift before you lose it. Oh, I ain't about to lose this one. Trust me. The only thing that's going to happen is it's going to get used up. And then I'm going to end up being able to pass it on to somebody else. For real. Only way I'm going to lose it is if I die. And God, hopefully I ain't, it ain't my time to go no time soon. Most definitely. But I keep doing this exit speech. And then I get a question. I think it's like the that's the only thing I dislike about um, Facebook Live. It's such a lag in the comments. Air hug. Cause I love you, Josh. I think he's still sleepy. Cause like that's online for next Thursday. Cause I get all um, next. Thursday, I'm off at 7, so next Thursday might actually be a little bit, um, hopefully if it's not, if it's not running over, like, um, my shift don't run a little bit over, I would say 7.30 for next week, 7.30, and then I always, um, even if you do happen to miss it, or you miss, like, a beginning part of it or whatever, I always have it, um, posted um, posted on my timeline. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. That Family Feud music always get me. <laughs> no, but yeah, 7:30 probably for next week. And there may be some days where I may change the day, just cause um life. <laughs> but I'll, it'll always, I always make several Facebook posts about it. But you guys will. I think I'm also thinking about making a dedicated page. I say do it twice a week. You never know what God may have. No, seriously. And that's another. That's, that's, um, that's what I want to say next, too. Like, um, there may be times where, like, y'all going to get, like, three videos from me a week. Like, you know, I always move whenever God calls me to do it. It's just something like Thursday. So I'll just do Thursday. I could use twice a week. Well, the majority is spoken. I do it twice a week. <laughs> I'll do one day is um, 
one day it just might be com- me coming on here just talking to you guys, like kind of like how we're doing now. Just talking, talking. And see, that's what I mean. He don't need a pacifier because he'll just take it out and then just do stuff like this. Like, he just won't sit sometimes. But um, it'll, like, one day a week I'll just come on here and be like, hey, anybody got any questions or anything like that? Or anything that they want to have a conversation about? May even take a few people on the live, too. So, this lag. I hate lags. Like, I'm a rapid person. And do your class. Like, yes. This boy is okay. What you what you doing? But yeah. Um Yeah. I have a lot of plans for it. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of plans. That's another thing about me. I don't like my stuff being structured. Like I like for it to feel real. Like you know some people though come up. I, okay, cause like the first video I did. I'm not sure if everybody seen it. I felt like it was terrible. Everybody's like, oh, what you said was good, but it didn't feel genuine, like, from my heart. Like, this is my real life. Like, I have a little terrorist. This is my life. <laughs> I like for y'all to get the real deal from me. So that just felt too structured. So I'm going to go in my office so that I can have the one-on-one time, but I'm not. And it's, it's not going to be as structured and me trying to flip through notes as I did the first one. I just That didn't work for me. It didn't work. But yeah, definitely twice a week. I'll just come on here and ask me whatever you guys want to hear. And I, I'm going to be real with y'all because I pray all the time. I read my Bible every day. Um, yeah, I'm going to have something to say. It's just, it may start what I got to say and then we just trickle off into conversation that you guys want to have. For real. Like today, like I was reading my Bible all trying to find something for like the signs of God. And honestly, I could give you all some scriptures, but no, none of the scriptures really, really fit. Whoa, whoa, get my stuff. You be like, how does it not fit? Because it's just sometimes stuff don't fit for what you're trying to do. I'm going to be real. I used it as a guide. And then the sign I got was to speak from the heart. <laughs> so that's what I did. Welcome to heart for y'all. But yeah, so twice a week. Okay, so what's the other day? We got Thursday. The other sh- outline day. Because it may, it may be, like I told y'all, maybe more than twice a week. It's whatever y'all want. Or whatever God wants me to do. Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord and learn not in your own understanding. And Lee, okay, I'm about to be like, what? Learn in your own. I'm like, I'm, I was like, cousin, do I got it? Okay, my bad. That was my trying to speed read. And Lee, not in your own understanding. I got you, I got you. No, cousin, that was completely me. That wasn't you. You had that. <laughs> Monday, motivational Monday, and think about it Thursday. I love it. So we gonna work with. I do need to pray more, but I just talked to him all day. I'm like how I'm talking to you, and I, but I don't sit down in the quiet room and pray, pray. Yeah, you need the, you need the solitude. And can I just okay? I'm about to go off into something else, cause y'all just y'all gonna let me talk. I'm gonna talk until there ain't nobody else on this live. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, <clears throat> and I, I'm still in this from my pastor, but like I don't know if y'all watch the sermons that I um, share on Sunday. Read slow, right? Read slow. But um, I'm a speed reader naturally. I'm a speed reader with dyslexia. Welcome to my brain. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. But um. What my pastor shared with me was stop praying to God like he don't know what you're going through. So it's like don't hide in your prayer like, hey, God, it's me. Um, so I ate breakfast this morning. It was delicious. Thank you for blessing me to be able to do that. Don't know. I would say my structure for prayer, I would say is pray to thank and pray to understand. 
because God already knows what you're going through because he know you through it. <laughs> and pray for your signs, even the signs you don't see. And um, even, even the signs that you may not have wanted. But you need that solitude to be able to process and also to be able to hear. That's where meditation comes in. Meditation is for you to talk. No, I'm sorry. Prayer is for you to talk. Meditation is for you to listen. And that's two-way street in a relationship. Somebody has to talk and listen and then vice versa. Some, the person who listens has to talk and then you have to listen. You got mama watching. Not, On a serious note, I have some serious conversation in my car. Right Jocelyn, people think I'm crazy because they think I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to God. Twerk, Steve. What rhymes with twerk? <laughs> Only on Family Feud. I should say getting the sign you don't want cut. That's where most people screw up. And tell my mind, say, hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm about to say that as I was on. That was talking. But um, that is the main struggle for people. The sign that you don't want. Because you turned a blind eye to it. She just barged in my room like, who is she talking to? <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, the sign. Yeah, sometimes the sign you don't want is a sign you need. I need CarMax. I'm taking a list of stuff I need while I do these videos. But um. Yeah. Sometimes you get the sign that you don't want and you just feel like you honestly you don't even see it. Cuz you're so you're looking for what you want. So you have like your tunnel vision. That's what I was trying to say. So I'm doing like this. I'm like mm, I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> tunnel vision. You'll have tunnel vision. You'll see only what you want and so then when you don't see that you see that sign you pray to God again like so God you're gonna send me that sign like I sent it to you but you so busy looking this way it was over here so you gotta have an open like when you ask for a sign have an open mind and an open heart to receive what you are supposed to receive and that is always within my prayer I'm like dear God I come to you asking that you lead my steps that you open up my heart and open up my mind to receive everything that you want me to have everything that you want me to see everything that you want me to experience because I know of my own of my own will and of my own self I'm going to ignore what I don't want to hear I'm going to ignore what I don't want to see I'm going to ignore it so you got to come to him Cairo 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 <laughs> you're killing me smalls <laughs> <laughs> Boy, tearing up the blind. I'm like, I'm right back there. <laughs> but yeah. Um, chunky butt. Whew. Yeah. Because I know myself, if it's not what I want, I'm going to ignore it. Ask my fiance, y'all. I would try to persuade him with my mind of thinking. And that's why God blessed me with him, because he'll be like, babe, no. And I'm like, but babe, we could do this, this. He's like, no. I said what I said. I said how I felt about it. This is my viewpoint. And I try to sway him over to my viewpoint. No, that boy, he ain't stubborn at all. He's stern. Name a word used to describe how I like you that. Feel when you eat I like that. Okay, I'm done. On a scale of one to ten, how good a lover is your lover? Eight. Name a product made for the eyes. Eight. Name a product made for the eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Pay attention to the stuff. Pay attention to everything. Every, 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 everything. I get laughed at because I, I look up my dreams. But I feel like um, 
I feel like God speaks to me most when I'm sleeping. Because I used to never dream, y'all. Like, okay, I probably did. But I, like, literally, like, I would sleep, and I probably did have a dream, but I never would remember it. And I feel like if God just has me remember my dreams, there's a significance to it. Like, for real. There is significant. Like, June, mark my words, y'all. June 11th, something is happening. I don't know what. But something. And I'm so excited for it. It's so exciting. Unless it's a baby. But it shouldn't be a baby. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if I'm birthing it in Jesus. <sighs> At least I know I'm safe. <laughs> Can you mark safe for the return of Jesus? Hey, Airman. Girl, me too. I'm trying to figure out. I'm like June 11th. Even though this is so crazy, I'm like, okay, so it might be a June 11th. Okay, I'm, but in my dream it was Tuesday, June 11th. I'm like, all right, it's gonna be a June 11th. So I just happened to look for this year, and this year's June 11th is on a Tuesday. So it's happening this year. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, my fan glee. Man, fan glee. Man, fan glee. <laughs> Go, Grandma. She got, she got the good stuff. She got the good stuff. Go yeah. see Grandma. She got it. Go see Grandma. She got the good stuff. He ran over there too. I've been good, Aaron. I truthfully cannot complain. I have been blessed and highly favored. Yep. But yeah, y'all. Y'all gonna laugh at me, but I think my sign to get out of Michigan was this super polar vortex. It's not even a polar vortex, it's a super po polar vortex. It's like, what the heck? Y'all, when they, <laughs> they text everybody but me to turn their thermostat down to 65. Cause they know they had me messed up. <laughs> like, who about to freeze their baby out? Not me. It had home be me. I don't know if you really meant shy, but I'm going to thank you for not cursing at me. Yep, and there you go. Curse word. <laughs> I'm going to start making y'all owe me $20 like how I do my fiance. I'm going to make him owe me $20 every time he curses. It goes towards food. It don't even matter. But yeah. I'm glad you're surviving there, though. I'm glad you're surviving because that place was uh, place was something else. Yeah, Aaron, you owe me twenty dollars cash at me. Kenzie Lou too. I get crab legs, cousin. We go out to eat. <laughs> crab legs. <see? laughs> we get crab legs. That's what I get with the twenty dollars. There's a place here called Harbor House. There's one downtown. Don't go to that one. Go to the one that's in Clinton Township, babe. I think it's Clinton Township. You go to that one. Oh, you can eat crab legs for fifty dollars per person. Per person. So that's about a twenty dollars, you know. Yeah. So by the time he gets up to a hundred bucks, yep, Clinton Township. So yeah, by the time he gets 100 bucks, we're going out to eat crab legs. But that was kind of like our thing anyway. Because like, we're sappy. So we say every, like on our month to date. So we got together the official, like official official on the 18th. So now we go every, around the 18th. Mm -hmm. That ring is crab legs. No more crab legs, cousin. <laughs> Stop. Stop being a hater. Stop. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. Yes, babe, I still get my crap. Y'all see my nails? I need my nails, y'all. All right, but I'm about to get off live, y'all. I feel like we're, I have a booger in my nose. <laughs> y'all get the, like, everybody gets the most rawest version of me. There's doggone spaghetti on my hand.
I don't even eat crab eggs, so I'm not hating. You are a hater. That's why you hating, because you don't eat it, so you don't care about my well-being. They keep me alive. I think that's Saturday. Just don't make spoil. You're going to have to... It's, okay, so it's going to be gym, nails, then crap, because I'm not going to get my nails done and then go to the gym and then mess up my nails. We'll discuss this later, babe. We'll discuss it. They're going to shake me? All right, y'all. And my baby tired, so he's telling me to get off. Get off. Um, Facebook Live. But yep. So just to wrap it up, Mondays and Thursdays. Never. I'll never stop being spoiled. Ever. 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 Gym nails, crab legs, done. All right. But. <laughs> you wanna get down? Good, get down. Get down. But yeah, you guys, um Don't be surprised if I don't have nothing this Monday. <laughs> but I probably will. So I can't help it, she's my baby. The did it. But um Yeah, Mondays, Thursdays, motivational Mondays. Those might be a little bit sh um, shorter unless we have, like, you know, something to talk about. And, yeah. So, I'll see you guys this Monday. Remember, keep your eyes open for everything, every single last sign that will come to you, every single last sign that you may not want to accept but need to expect. Um, and to also just... Don't be so hard on yourself. You are not perfect. What needs to be used for you is going to be used. You can talk, talk. Okay, I can talk, talk, talk for days. Especially if it's something that, like this. Talk for days. But small talk, I can't do. It has to be meaningful. Even though some of this was small talk. But you see, I jump from topic to topic. But yeah. Bye, bye, and I'm going to sign off with the Saints got robbed, so I don't know if I'm watching the Super Bowl. Maybe boycotting the Super Bowl this year. I do have to work, but still also, like, boycotting because we got robbed. So, yeah, but I'll see y'all on Monday. Love you guys.